Hello again, guys. Sagan Cat here. I uh, came here today to do another quick collection update because it's been a while since I did one of those. And also, a bunch of new screenshots came out for the Dragon Quest VII 3DS remake. And I'm going to also uh, do a quick little video on those and show off how great they are. But first, the collection stuff. It's been a while. So, here is uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters, the Japanese cart of um, Terry's Wonderland, the original. Nothing too fancy there, but this was recently remade for the 3DS in Japan. No news on it coming out here, which is a damn shame, because I loved um, Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2. Great, great game series. Uh, I really wish that I hadn't put it off for so long. I just thought that it was going to be too much like Pokemon, and I was wrong. Um, I also have here... Uh, Dragon Quest VII for the PlayStation. This is the Japanese release. Again, nothing fancy, not hard to find. Um, still, just cool to have in the collection. Say, haha, I have the Japanese version as well. Probably should have cleaned off my desk before I did this. I also have the Japanese PlayStation 1 release of Dragon Quest IV. Now, this was never actually released here, but the DS edition, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, the DS edition of the game that we did get, if I can open this, is essentially a port of this game. Kind of hard to show off the screenshots, but yeah. Play the DS version. Pretty identical. I also have, I couldn't remember if I had this in the last video or not, and I didn't feel like tracking it down, but I have um, Torneco no Doboken 3 for the PlayStation 2. It also released on the Game Boy Advance, but. Here it is. I'll get around to playing the Torneco games one day. Look forward to it. I'll probably play the Game Boy Advance edition just because emulation on that is way, way easier. And the big one, the one that I'm really excited for, and the one that I will be doing a Let's Play on soon-ish was I got Monster Battle Road Victory for the Wii. This is a port of Monster Battle Road Legends on the um, in the arcade, or as uh, Monster Battle Road 2 Legends in the arcade, exclusive to Japan. This is a port of the game. Apparently, if you have the DS, there is a um, program or a app that you can download. And you can actually use the app on your DS to take pictures of the card rewards that you get and use them on the Wii game. Now this is a brand new copy of the game. It has not yet been opened. I'll be popping that open for the first episode of the Let's Play when I get around to it. But first, what do I mean first? That doesn't make sense. Screenshots! Screenshots! Okay, there is a good, good, solid batch of these screenshots and they look wonderful. Uh, looks like we've just got them exploring a house here, picking up one of the tablet pieces. If you haven't played the game yet, the shards of uh, tablets in the game make up a very important part of the game. Um, they're what is used to essentially figure out where you're going to be going next, and it's kind of this little puzzle-solving portion of the game. And right here you can see... Um, those pedestals, that's where those shards wind up getting placed, and it's this big puzzle that you put together. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Looks like some town shots. Now, if you played the original PlayStation game, you'll remember that it pretty much looked like a Super Nintendo game. So this is a huge, huge leap graphically. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. I'm sorry about the resolution. These are the largest screenshots I could find, and they did not blow up very well. These came off of um, Silicon Era. They seem to be the ones who are getting all the um, 
new screenshots fastest. I'm loving the new battle setup where it's kind of showing the back of everyone's head. Very, very Fantasy Star. That's it. Almost exactly like Fantasy Stars 2 and 3, where you had the backs of everyone's head, and then they jump forward into combat. Got some more combat going on here. Looks like uh, some protection action is going on. Protecting the hero. Menus. Fantastic menus that I can't read. But, uh, down at the bottom, if you'll notice in the textbook, or textbook, text box, the kanji has hiragana written above it. That's called furugana, and it is amazing, and it'll actually make importing the game a lot easier for foreigners. You can learn katagana and hiragana in pretty short order. Kanji is where a lot of people get hung up. Well, with furugana, that's put in there with the translation above it. So, hence, you don't actually need to know those kanji characters. Okay, here's what the tablets look like when you're putting them together. It looks like they've simplified that entire menu, um, made it a little bit easier to do. I imagine there's going to be some touchscreen controls here. Uh, the tablets were kind of a 3D puzzle when you were doing them on the PlayStation, so it kind of makes sense for them to try and do some sort of touchscreen controls. Let's see, got them running around on the field towards a town. You can see that monsters are on the field now. No random encounters. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm leaning towards I would love it either way. I do kind of like that they're on the field, though, much like in Dragon Quest IX. Uh, some more tablet stuff. Actually, it looks like they're about to finish that one off. Oh, speaking to a king somewhere. Keep in mind, I played this game for about 30 hours back when it first came out, and I haven't really touched it at all since. So uh, I don't really remember <laughs> most of what is going on. But I do know that this looks much, much better than the original PlayStation version. Uh, more combat. Still looking pretty good. No idea who's on the right there. The environments just look so great. It's like they took the engine from Dragon Quest IX, and then they just sharpened the hell out of it. Keep seeing that guy. Never actually got to him in the PlayStation game. I know he is a prominent party member. No idea who he is. Shame on me. Terrible Dragon Quest fan, right? Some more combat. Looks like somebody had cast Whoosh. Not a giant fan of whoosh. There's another party member. Some more combat. Yet yeah, more combat. Now, something to keep in mind with uh, Dragon Quest Seven is the difficulty curve is not going to be near as friendly as it is in like 8 and 9 and even 10. Um, the bosses in Dragon Quest 7 will destroy you if you are not prepared. Probably worse than most bosses in the series. They are especially nasty in 7. That's a frost breath. Nobody looks happy about it. I remember that area. I remember the volcano. That is fairly early on into the game. Uh, and had one of the few cutscenes that I remember seeing. And it was a very short cutscene, too. It's a Moai! Also in the volcano. I'm calling him a Moai. It's probably not what he's called. I just remember that from Dragon Quest IX, hunting down Moai minstrels. Some dungeon exploration. You can see there that switch uh, causes the dungeon to swivel and turn. This is the last screenshot. Again, the game looks great. Uh, if you guys want me to continue doing videos with the screenshots, let me know. Um, I'm going to keep doing the collection videos anyways, and I'm looking forward to getting around to doing a Let's Play on Monster Battle Road Victory. So that's all. Take care, guys.
Uh, I will see you all next time.